Welcome back to this week's episode of the Jam Pod podcast. Today we are going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Do you celebrate it? Do you not celebrate it? Do you feel like how do you feel about it? But before we get into that, uh, make sure that you like, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you if anything like hits you, aha moments, or if you have opinions, make sure you share those in the comments below. And then also just a reminder, our February wellness community, we're accepting new enrollments. We kind of took like a little hiatus from accepting new members, but that's um, officially open. And so I'll drop the form link below if you want to learn more information. Um, and of course, before we get into the Valentine's Day topic, Melanie has another child. Yes. So give us a quick update on Mr. Teddy there. Well, I gave birth yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so no, he was born December 18th. So he is six weeks old. He'll be seven weeks old Monday. And he is just the cutest little black Yorkie I've ever seen. He looks so, so soft. He is. He's very soft. And he, he just mm. reminds me of a teddy bear. And that's why we named him that. Aww. So his name's Theodore Bear Carr. He's just too cute. Mm. Yeah. So I, I'm a good little boy. I think he was in a litter with all girls. Oh. So I think he was the only boy. Yeah. But he's a spitfire. He really is. So. Aww. And how but, are your other children? Handling? Oh, the other children hate me right now. They absolutely do hate me. Cooper would not get anywhere close to him in the bed last night. Uh, <laughs> Harry is, Harry is just backing off and skittish and then tapping him. You know how cats do yep. that. That's what he's been doing to Teddy. So. I, I just, you know, it, it's just going to take time. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely yeah. love to get a dog. I want a golden retriever and mm -hmm. Kevin mm -hmm. wants a um, German shepherd so that he can actually like send it away for like the first however many weeks and have it mm -hmm. trained. Yeah. He wants a murderer if we need. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, But I'm like, and you know, like we rent. So of course we wouldn't get one until we own a house. Um, mm -hmm. Because I'm terrified that, like, Salem would start marking. Oh, mm. yeah. Because yeah. he's, like, and I was surprised that he didn't do that when we got Miss Cleo. But I think if we brought a dog in and he's so damn cranky now in his old age, I would right. be afraid that he would start spraying on everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would be afraid of that, too. Especially um, a high-energy dog like that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, he's very he's but, his cutest mom. Thank you. Takes we time, are, it takes time for the new family member to get for the other family members to adjust. Yeah, adjust. Yeah. They're they're no longer the prize, the pride and joy. <laughs> Mama got a new toy. What yeah. the hell? Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So so yes, Valentine's Day. Yeah. So do you guys well, like do you, you're what do you into guys it do? now? Like apparently, have, yeah. Like you have you have a red shirt on. Andrea and I are like dressed in like death colors. Mm -hmm. Well, that's par for the course. Um, <laughs> no, I have I have grown up and hated Valentine's Day. I mean, bless my mom's heart. I love her so much. When I was in high school, she sent me roses on Valentine's Day from a secret mm -hmm. admirer. You know, and so when I found out it was her, because I knew it was her handwriting on the card, you know, it just kind of made things like, oh. it just reminded me that I didn't have somebody like a boyfriend. Cause I didn't have a boyfriend or anything in high school. I just, I, you know, it just wasn't there. So um, I've never really liked the holiday, but now that I'm with somebody that, you know, I can send a goofy card to or or get him something that really means something you know and I do that I don't get him cards every day of the year but you know I do stuff nice stuff for him throughout the year but you know just taking the one day and just being like all lovey-dovey I think that's okay you know but it is a very commercial holiday in my opinion mm. just because Yesterday I got the sweater in and I know y'all, I know Andrea saw it on my stories. Yeah, I saw but, it. 
Yeah, but it's, oh, it's so comfy. And I just had to buy it because I wanted to do content in it. <laughs> so, again, it's do you I, had to ask her, I had to ask her if she was high when she was recording that story last night. <laughs> Do you, um, do you guys, like, what do you guys typically do for Valentine's Day? Nothing. And that's okay. Like, I don't, I don't remember, like, going out to dinner or anything because the past few years, like, we got together during COVID. Mm -hmm. So we have just gotten in such a routine of just ordering in because that was just what we started out as. Yeah. And so we don't really do anything extravagant or anything like that, you know, but it's just. I don't know. I'm I'm just kind of really into it now that I'm with him. Yeah. Well, that's if good. That makes, yeah. Yeah. Well, we usually um I don't know, before COVID, I can't even remember. But um now that we've been in South Carolina, we um the person that did our wedding song, they actually have a concert right around the time of Valentine's Day. So we've gone we have tickets to go again this year, so we usually go Oh. that's our that's our routine is we end up going to that so we'll get like dinner or something and then go to the concert oh that's sweet I like that what about you Jen I have mixed feelings about it yeah I um I do think it's a very commercialized holiday mm -hmm. Agreed. um I do not go all out for it. I am kind of the person that has the mentality of like, why do I need one day to share my yeah. love with you? Right. I should be telling mm -hmm. you this and showing you this throughout the entire course of the year. And you should be doing that to me as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't want to say I boycott it. Like I'll wear like mm -hmm. red or like I have like, like, I have a very similar sweater that you have, Mel, but of course it's black and it has skulls yeah. on it, but it has hearts on yes. it. Um, of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, typical Jen. Um, and then like, I'll get like Kevin a card. I'll get him mm -hmm. like, you know, a thing of like chocolates or like just something small. Mm -hmm. um, but then I also have the boys. So in January, Gabriel's roommate's, mom went up there and so they already had like the valentine's day stuff out and so mm -hmm. i kind of i sent her up there with like a care package with him and i put like little cute fun valentine's day stuff in it um i have two little gift bags for the boys with like a little two dollar stuff animal mm -hmm. um like and like food that they like not necessarily mm -hmm. valentine's day food but just stuff that like a little treat bag almost um so I do like little things like that, but it's like, I don't have to go out for dinner because everybody mm -hmm. and their mother is going to be out for dinner and yeah. we go yeah. out to eat. Like we do that pretty regularly anyway. So it's just kind of like, it's I pretty much, like, it's I, like it's why I give Kevin it's... a card and chocolates because I feel like he's going to get me something and I don't want to be the dickhead that hasn't got him anything. So that's why I get him something. But if it was up to me, we wouldn't even do anything for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what does he get you? I think it's usually a card. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, we'll go out to like dinner or something. But I just, um, but it's like to the same old place. It's not like it feels like Valentine's yeah. Day. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's then, that's really like anything like we'll do is like a card and then and then we do this concert thing like that's our yeah. you know gift to each other. I think the yeah. I think the one thing that I do feel pressure about just like his birthday I'm like oh it's Valentine's Day so I have to put out. Oh. Like <laughs> like it's been it's been a hot minute since I've put out. Um yeah. and so I don't even think if I've I don't think I've put out yet for 2024. I haven't I don't think I have. And so now like I'm trying to get my, and a lot of that's because my mental health, like health has been really crappy mm. lately and all yeah. that. And, but now I'm kind of like getting anxiety over that. It's like, Oh, it's Valentine's day. I'm like, I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to take for one it. for the team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kevin, if you're listening to this, don't listen to it until after <laughs> Valentine's Day. And hopefully it comes true. <laughs> It'll be like, you know, afterwards, if that's, it's like the kind that you give like high fives to each other and yeah. it hasn't happened for so long. <laughs> and so like when you're done, you Good just job. give each other a high five <laughs> and move on with your day. We did yeah. it. <laughs> just checking that box. <laughs> All right. We're good for a couple more months. <laughs> yeah. I'll see. I'll see you on your birthday in October. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is Kevin's birthday in October? Mm-hmm. When is it? October 4th. Oh, Matt's is the 10th. See? Oh. We're all just like, we all got married around I the know. same time. Yep. We're just Birthdays are around the same time. Mm-hmm. If I got mm-hmm. my period, we probably have, you know, periods around the same time. Same. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so speaking of putting out, we haven't since December. I want to say that's about the time that we have too. Yeah. It's just, you know, Matt's still not feeling good. Yeah. You know, so I think there's the, you know, and that's all right. Yeah. Well, then I think you get into this. I know this is a totally other topic, but I think you also get into this pattern of like, oh, we haven't done it for so long that it's, you kind of become, I don't want to say used to it, but you kind of become used to it. And then, because you know how, like the more that you do have it, the more that you crave it. Right. mm -hmm. At least for me, the more that we do it, then the more that I want to do it because I crave it. And, but then like the, it's like working out. If I take Mm -hmm. too many days off as rest Mm -hmm. days, then it's hard for me to get started it again. Yeah. No, I don't know what you mean. For me, it's like, it's like almost like anxiety of trying to like you know get back into it right yes yes and then it's like Where how you're do you, like how oh do you, yeah how do you initiate it do you just look at him exactly. and just be like dude it's time yeah yeah you yeah. ready it's been and then, three months and then and two like days. he's running upstairs as he's undressing because it's like oh my god <laughs> i have to do this right now before like she changes her mind in two seconds <laughs> he's falling up the stairs as he's running <laughs> because he's trying to take off his clothes too so <laughs> <laughs> oh god but my good my thing is is well i haven't had to shave my legs so <laughs> I'm still getting my Brazilian, but I haven't shaved my legs, so whatever. <laughs> I'm I'm so lazy, y'all. I I don't like that's why. And and I found out my wax girl's moving. She's oh, moving no. to Nebraska. What are you gonna do? What? Yeah, she's moving temporarily because her father-in-law has brain cancer. But that's oh. a totally different story. But no, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I I'm I mean because I love her. I've been going to her for gosh some years now mm. and a long time and so I'm just gonna have to find somebody else and I hate it mm. I do but like I said I'm well you just get on that my wife get group. on that group on and just go for one <laughs> <laughs> that's how I end yeah. up finding people is I'm just like you know what well, well let's, let's give this one a shot and I mean if I don't like it I don't have to go back I'll go find somebody else right it's true it's true mm-hmm. so, I still can't anyway. Oh, I, I would just, I went Thursday and got mine. That's when I found out she was moving. I was like, oh, Ugh. crap. I got at least another month. So I got maybe one or two more waxes mm. in me or whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, at least I'll be, I'll be waxed up for Valentine's Day in case anything happens. There you go. Yeah. And will you go they, back? Will you go back? Pressure about it too. You think so? Mm-hmm. I know with Kevin, like, and and I think maybe I don't know, but I think, I think he's afraid to actually initiate it because he doesn't want to be turned down, mm-hmm. and so it's just kind of like, oh, well, I'm just not. I'll wait for you to initiate it, but then I get. <laughs> I'm Jen and I'm just like why can't you initiate it more why do right. I have to initiate it but then at the exactly. same time but then in my next sentence I'm like I'm not in the mood so right. it's like he can't like I wish we had the thought bubbles that way it was like he would know <laughs> when to initiate it 
and when it's yeah. not time to initiate it. Mm. Yes. Do we have, well, you could always turn on the red light, you know, and say, time to go. Something. As soon as that red light there comes needs, on. There needs to be some <laughs> sort of signal or something. The bat signal. Yeah, send, him, send him a smoke <laughs> signal. <laughs> send it from from in between your legs like <laughs> oh my god like it's lofting yeah <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh my goodness so i know we got far off the topic but you know i mean that's still really, on the topic it's kind of related. i still think so yeah i think I a think lot so of people too. feel like that i think a lot of people feel that they have to go out to dinner or or yeah. make dinner I, I probably buy like some sexy lingerie or at least like a new pair of he, well, panties here's the, or bras that, that the husband or partner hasn't seen. Well, here's right. the thing is that you do it before dinner. That way you don't have excuse to be like, right. Oh, oh, or, or, oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, with us, we go out to the early bird dinner at like four o'clock. So mm. <laughs> we'd be having to have a noon. Us too. <laughs> we'll look around the restaurant and it'll be like all old people and <laughs> and i'm just like this is prime time like this is yeah. because then you're back home by like 6 6 30 at the latest exactly if you need anything from the grocery store on the way home you can run in and get it mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you can come home chocolate and put your syrup lounge yep you can put your lounge <laughs> whipped cream you can put your lounge Cherries. pants on and just be in <laughs> and or your moo moo like your i have a moo moo yeah. yeah that's sexy my 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 girlfriend nikki said and matt actually finds you attractive in that thing and i said i don't know i said i'm gonna wear it anyway i don't care it's comfy <laughs> do you sleep in a moo moo it's like a nightgown oh you don't get all like twisted up in it i think i turn okay. around too much i would like choke myself <laughs> no it, it's I mean, it's just a nightgown. So does it zip up? No, it's it's just a pullover. Like a I'm big just thinking of like those old polyester. Oh no, full <laughs> memos with like the zipper, and you're like no, no, and you're like Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> your house coat. Your house exactly coat. your house coat, like my granny used to wear. <laughs> my yeah, my grandmother used to have a house coat. <laughs> And it was like, it was like a comforter. It, was, it looked yeah. like a comforter. Yes. <laughs> and it had like either exactly. flowers or like a paisley print or something. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. usually matching slippers. Oh yeah. The same yeah, material. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like ice Like she made, like she made it out of like an old, <laughs> old comforter. Yeah, exactly. Or some curtains doing that scarlet hair thing, making a dress out of curtains. <laughs> but oh. I do think that that's like. I think that's what people think that I have to go out to dinner. I have to do something nice. Mm -hmm. I think guys probably think that like, I'm sure there's probably guys out there that was like, okay, what piece of jewelry can I get? Mm. It's like the Diamond cliche earrings. stuff. You know what I mean? Matt, like just, <laughs> what did you say? I said diamond earrings, Matt, if you're listening. <laughs> I don't just buy them now. Kid. They're too. They jack up the price. They do. Yeah, yeah. They do. It's now stupid. I will say I went. I do like to decorate for like the different um holidays and whatnot. And I don't mm -hmm. have very much Valentine's Day stuff. Um. So we went to Hobby Lobby. I don't know. No way. You oh, went to I Hobby know. Lobby. <laughs> it's like a, the thing that we do on. Like I'm sure we'll go today. I think we go every Saturday because um, i mean let's face it it's it's valentine's day which everything was like going to be 75 percent off probably today true and then their mm -hmm. saint patrick's day stuff's going to be at least 40 <sighs> 50 percent off yes oh and let me tell you have you seen those tiktoks where about hobby lobby the where they have the the pricing like the stuff in the, you go today and you check this the stuff that's in the front is more expensive than the ones behind them. So check the price tags really? on the stuff mm -hmm. behind it. I've seen a couple of videos on this and it's so random. Like, you know, they, the prices are they just look, different. The prices mm. are, too, I mean, like three and $4 difference. Mm -hmm. For the same thing. Yep. Yes. For the same wow. thing. Just get the stuff that's in the back. 
compared to the front. Well, the Check question is, the question is, is, is that stuff on the shelf for so long that they get new inventory and they've jacked up the price on the inventory? Or is that something that they've done all along is just as you, you know, get further back, it's just different. You know? I don't know, but I, that blew my mind. So yeah. I've seen Check it. That I've today. seen that too. I will. Um, but they didn't really have that much. Like no. they had two aisles of Valentine's Day stuff, which some people would be like, "Oh my god, that's well, a lot." It's probably already but, bought out. But the one, the one aisle. So one of my fondest, oh, one of my fondest memories is like about Valentine's Day is in elementary school you would make like a shoebox with yes. like and buy Valentines and like give them. You'd have a Valentine's Day party. Now in Hobby Lobby, they have an entire aisle devoted to that. Like you can buy actual mailboxes at a cardboard that are shaped like mailboxes Mm -hmm. and have all of this decoration stuff. Now, some people like you, you know, maybe people that don't have shoe boxes or people that just aren't creative might enjoy that. So that's great. But I was just like, that was part of the fun. Yeah, was like oh, getting absolutely. a shoebox and Covered getting in craft paper, paper. Or, yep. yeah, and like trying to decorate it, and I don't know because then everybody's looked different. Whereas, yes. I think today, if everybody did this, I mean, why do the same thing? True, right. true. Yeah, that's for the lazy I people, I guess. Yeah, but they There's really didn't have a people. lot. And then I, so I didn't. I, I literally got just a drying pad, like a drying mat for my dishes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. um and an outside flag oh that's all i found and their well, st patrick's day aisle only two aisles huh wow but now if you're going for springtime oh they're they all set up for stuff. spring they are all set yeah. up for spring so i don't have a hobby lobby close to me so really yeah they're about everywhere. 45 minutes away damn mm. yeah but we have two Michaels and I don't know. We used to have a Joanne fabric. I think we still got one of those too. But anywho. I really miss the AC more. Did you ever have those? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I used that to get was, all of my cake one. pans from there. And oh, when Gabriel yeah. was really big into like Thomas the Tank Engine. They used to, <laughs> we used to always, he that was one of his favorite stores because he, <laughs> knew as soon as we would go in he would get a thomas tank engine train Mm -hmm. yeah that was a good store i um i want to give a shout out to um melinda collins because she sent me a message and said that her and kingston her grandson were listening to the jam pod oh i hope it was an okay episode (laughs) i don't know but uh she she's said, probably like earmuffs yeah. earmuffs yeah she said he said why why do they keep talking why do they just keep talking and they're just talking 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 <laughs> we do and and so talking, i just talking, wanted to give talking. a shout out to hi melinda hi huh? melinda hi kingston <laughs> and uh happy valentine's day to y'all so we have well, little listeners well, I mean, I know this is probably going to air the week before um, Valentine's Day, but hope that you have a good Valentine's Day and just don't have the pressure. Mm. Yeah. Just don't, don't. pressure yourself. Mm-mm. Shave your legs or not. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> and, and at the end of the day, they don't care. Right. No, they don't. If Mm-mm. it's between you not shaving your legs and them having sex or you shaving your legs and not having sex, they're going to, they just want the sex. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. Absolutely. Every time. That's why I don't care. They'll get past it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. They might have to go through a forest to get there, but you know, it's part of the adventure. (laughs) You like outdoor life, honey. Here you go. (laughs) Oh. You're a hunter, right? <laughs> oh my god! Don't forget to wear your camouflage. <laughs> have little, have little like miniature gnomes down there. <laughs> One that says "Welcome." <laughs> One that says "Beware." <laughs> Caution ahead. <laughs> oh my <Yep>. god. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. Well, we love you. All right, ladies. Love all right. You all. See you next time. All right.